Algebra 1, 2-2, two one-step equations. We started writing equations uh, in the previous lesson, and so now we're going to actually solve um, solve them. So we, when we have one step, there's just one thing we're going to be doing. We're either going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So we need to see which one looks like which. So all of our addition, obviously addition is going to be very obvious. Subtraction is going to be very obvious. If I look at something like x plus 4, I can recognize that operation as addition. And same way, I can recognize subtraction simply by the subtraction sign. Let's use the same variable and number. It would just look like x minus 4. Then I move on to multiplication. And with multiplication, they're going to be right beside each other with no separation. Again, I'm going to use the same numbers and variable, and I'm going to make that look like 4x. And then for our final one, we're going to have division. Wow, my, uh, my spelling is excellent. Well, you know, that's why we have erasers. Division. See, now you, got to, now you got to erase with me. So division might look something like x divided by 4. Some of you will look at that and go, well, that's a fraction. That's not division. Actually, that's what a fraction is. It's the top number, which is the numerator, divided by the bottom number. So how is this going to work? Well, let's start off with a simple addition problem. Let's say x plus 4 equals 12. Now, obviously, at this stage in the game, I know x is an unknown. And in the back of my mind, I can say, well, I know that 8 plus 4 equals 12. So I know my answer has to be 8. But let's look at it mathematically and use the technique of solving equations to find that answer. So I identify my operation. I'm going to highlight on this one. I identify my operation as addition. And so solving equations is just checks and balances. I need to get the x by itself, so I have to move that positive 4. To move that positive 4, I have to do the opposite of the operation. So if my operation is addition, the opposite is going to be subtraction. Now, with checks and balances, I have to do the both, excuse me, I have to do both sides with the same operation. Now, you can tell me that 4 minus 4 is 0, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted that to cancel out leaving me just the x. And then I go over and do what the signs tell me to do. 12 minus 4 gives me 8. Again, I know you could see that ahead of time, but the problems are going to get more and more difficult, so we want to learn the proper technique. Um, I could also... Oh, I don't want that. How about I take negative 8 plus z equals 12? Now, we can get confused with this one and say that our operation is plus. But our operation is what's connect to the, connected to the number. So my operation is actually minus, because that's what's connected to that 8. So to get that 8 to the other side, I'm going to do the opposite. And I'm going to add it. Again, you will know if you did it correctly, because when you look at negative 8 plus 8, that's going to cancel out and give you 0. Then I bring down that z. And I'm going to take 12 plus 8, which gives me 20. So there's some basic 
addition and subtraction. Let's look at a multiplication. Okay, I have my negative 4 and my x side by side, nothing separating them. So that tells me, if I go back to my first page, if I have something side by side with nothing separating it, that's multiplication. So I want to do the opposite of multiplication, which is going to be division, and divide both sides by the number that's in front of the variable, which is going to be the negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 4. If I look at those negative 4s, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, because anything divided by itself is 1. So that leaves me 1x, and I'm just going to put x. And then over here, 24 divided by negative 4, positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative, and 24 divided by 4 is going to give me 6. I could check that. I could plug that back in for x, so I'd have negative 4 times negative 6. That would give me positive 24. It puts me in the right boat. Well, let's look at a division one over here to the right. Again, division. I'm going to go back two pages. Division is at the bottom. It's where I have a variable over a number, or I could have a number over a variable. Either way, it's the same thing. So since it's division, I want to do the opposite of division, which is going to be multiplication. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 9. Now, this would be 9 over 1 because it's a fraction. And in fractions, I can cancel, which that gets rid of my 9 is what I wanted to do, giving me x over 1, which is just x. And then over here to the side, I've got 14 times 9. So I'm going to work the problem manually. And I'm going to end up with 126. So that is one step equations showing you an addition, a subtraction, a multiplication, and division.